Coco's Italian market, we carry a lot of products directly from Italy. And one of our suppliers at Tovola set up some meetings with me and the actual factories and the farms and the suppliers. One of our favorite stops was in the picturesque town of Varese. It's in the Alps, right near the Swiss border. And Varese, of course, is rich in history. It's situated on seven hills within the Santa Maria del Monte Mountains and it looks over Lake Varese. It's just a beautiful getaway. It's rich in history, uh, castles, villas, it has an astronomical observatory and a college, and of course, the medieval sanctuary. And it's all great if you want to go with us on a food and wine tour, this would definitely be in uh, one of our packages. So just click on the link below this video and send me an email and I'll put you on the list. Varese is a home to the gourmet confection factory Ernesto Brusa and it's owned by Cecilia and her mom and they welcomed us warmly and told us all about their company and the product line and the tour was awe-inspiring. It was just fun and great and delicious. The factory was founded in 1930 uh, by this man who was called Ernesto Buza. He's not my parent. Uh, my parents uh, um, bought the factory in the late uh, 80s. The factory began with the sugar almonds, which in Italy are uh, typical sweets for weddings uh, or other uh, religious ceremonies. So we got into the chocolate uh, world. We developed something like dried and candied fruits covered with chocolate, so we can sell uh, for Christmas. In Italy we sell uh, only to the, uh, the little store. We do not sell to the big groups. We have Italy store as a client in Milano, in New York, and now in uh, Russia and Moscow. So little boutique shops. As Cecilia mentioned, chocolate covered almonds are a must for any wedding, also known as Jordan almonds here. The bittersweet taste of the candied nuts symbolize the positive and the negative side of a marriage, and leaving the sweet side still prevailing. Also, the different colors have significance. For example, the white represents purity and happiness, and the pink and blue symbolize christenings. And here's my mom, we were just reminiscing about how that tradition is carried over in the United States. Every wedding had them. They made little net packets of them as uh, favors. They also mixed them in with cookie trays. They would have them. It was a must. Every, everyone had them. You cut the little tool, you put the almonds in there, and then you tied it with a pretty ribbon, and everyone, that was your favor. You know what was funny is everybody would put them in their pocketbook. They wouldn't eat them at no, the wedding. He Why? I don't know. They were pretty. Yeah, no, you <laughs> saved them. And if you went to someone's house, you would see the little... Uh, packs of the almonds in their well, china had, closet. Yeah, we had them in our china closet for the longest time and they'd collect dust. Yeah. yeah. And then they're like yeah. petrified. And then but we'd go to weddings and my father never went to the weddings but he would always say bring back the convince for me all the time. That's so we have to bring them back convince. Start your own family tradition and serve these treats at your next event, a ceremony or party or, you know, just a unique twist on an old Italian tradition. I think all your guests would really love it, get a kick out of it.